The other day I received a comment on my shoe collection video. And the guy was like, because I have so many cap toes, it looks like he was looking at the same shoe over and over again. I mean, he does have a point. I do love myself some cap toes. But that video was recorded in January 2020, so almost a year ago. And ever since that time, I've unboxed two Austerity Brogues, one pair of Chucker Boots, two pairs of Balmoros, three Split Toe Derbies, one pair of loafers. Am I forgetting anything? I mean, that video was recorded a long time ago, man. Do a little bit of research on your boy. <laughs> Intro. Yo, what up? My name is Vladimir Richet from ChaseAndRider.com And in this video, we're going to unbox my very first pair of high boots. As I was saying in the intro, when I made my shoe collection video back in January, one glaring omission was there was no boots. At that time, I didn't really care about boots. Well, let me rephrase that. It's not that I didn't really care about boots, it's just like I love shoes a lot more, you know what I'm saying? So every time I wanted to buy boots, I'd rather buy shoes instead. But I understand that no collection is complete if you're not going to have any boots, especially if you live in a climate where I am, which is in New York, we get all four seasons, you know what I'm saying? So you can definitely use some boots. But myself, I've always reached for shoes instead of boots, but I knew that eventually that's something that I have to correct. So I started with a pair of Chucker boots from Carlos Santos a few months ago. Unfortunately, those boots didn't really work well for my feet as far as the last is concerned. So I still have them, but I haven't worn them and I'm probably going to sell them. But even when I got the Chuckers, I knew that eventually I had to get myself some tall boots. I just wasn't sure on which brand to get yet. One of my favorite boots that I've always liked looking at is the Galway by Edward Green. Unfortunately, I'm in no position to spend $1,600 on a pair of shoes. The good news is every maker has their own version of the Galway. Like Carmina has them, Enzo Bonafe has them, Carlos Santos has them, Yilsa has them. I don't know who started this, but whenever a different maker makes their own version of the Galway, all we do is change the first letter. So for example, Enzo Bonafe has their own version of the Galway. We call it the Bowway. See where I'm going with this? Carmina has their own version of the Galway. We call it the Cowway. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys know this, but ever since my Carlos Santos unboxing, all the shoes that came after that has been hand-welted shoes. So typically when you're talking about hand-welted shoes, they're going to cost more than goodyear welted shoes just because they take more time to produce. So instead of a machine that's welting those shoes together, it's done by hand. But I've been asked, am I done with goodyear welted shoes? I mean, not at all, man. I'm still a fan of Goodyear welted shoes. I just prefer hand welted shoes. But one brand that I'm a huge fan of, and it's no secret, is TLB Mallorca. Their Artista line to me is the best Goodyear welted shoes that money can buy under $500, man. I mean, I have no doubt in my mind about that. A lot of people ask me how do they compare to Carmina and Carlos Santos hand grid line. I'm a fan of all these brands, man, but none of them really compare to the Artista line of TRB Mallorca. I mean, I've already unboxed a pair of shoes from them. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it somewhere up here. I'll also include it in the description. But in this video, we're going to unbox my first pair of boots and they're from the Artista line of TRB Mallorca. Let's get to it. Just to give you a bit of a background, TLB Mallorca hails from Spain. They're still technically a new brand. They've only been around for less than five years. And the Artista line itself has only been around for about two years. They have the entry level line, which is just TLB, still really good quality shoes. And then the Artista line is like the upgraded line. Some of the differences between the entry level line and the Artista line is in the construction. For example, the waist is a lot more beveled on the Artista line. There are more stitches per inch. On the entry level line, there are six stitches per inch, which is still pretty good. But on the Artista line, you get eight stitches per inch, which is an incredible feat for a shoe that costs under $500. Also, some of the styles that you get on the Artista line, you won't find them on the entry level line. So I'm saying all that to say this, the shoes that we're going to unbox is the 140 from the Artista line of TRB Mallorca. Let's take a look. So first we're going to start with the box. TRB Mallorca comes in a gray box with silver lettering. It says TRB Mallorca on the top. All right, now on the sticker, 
it says 140 which is the style of the boots and it says goya which is the last the goya last is a round last they also have a last called the picasso which is what my austerity bros were made on that one's a soft square last so for the shoes they are by material meaning that they are two different colors two different materials actually so for the uppers i chose vegano brown which is like a medium brown and then for the shaft i chose a dark brown suede which is what the ante brown means here and this is Enca sole, which is the sole that I have on there. And this is seven, which is my size. Without further ado, man, let's take a look at the boots. The boots come in two black shoe bags. And these are the boots right here, man. Truly incredible. So as I was saying, this is the 140 from TLB Mallorca. So as I was saying, the shaft, which is this part here, is in a dark brown suede. And then the uppers, which is the, the bottom here, is the Vagano Brown, which is TLB's medium brown. It definitely made the wait worth it. Once again, I've waited forever before I got my real first pair of boots. And these shoes are truly, truly incredible, man. So the 140 line made their debut in late September. As soon as I saw them on social media, I reached out to Tony because I knew I had to get a pair. So just to keep it transparent with you guys, these shoes were sent to me for free. I didn't pay for them, but they sent them to me in order for me to do a review for you guys. As I was saying before, these shoes are designed in the same way as the iconic Galway from Edward Green. The great thing about this style is that it looks good in almost any kind of makeup. TLB currently has six different styles of the 140 readily available on their website. And they range anywhere from by material design, kind of like this one where it's part leather and part suede. They also have one that's all leather. So the collection that they currently have is a really nice collection. Uh, one that I really, really like is one that's all black, but it is by material where the uppers is a black leather and the shaft is a black suede. So that's a really nice makeup as well. So this is a really, really great style of shoe. It comes with four eyelets and also four speed hooks, which is the same exact way as the Galway. The Galway, by the way, is also good year welted, just like these boots are. Now, even though TRB does have six different options on their website, I did get these shoes custom for a couple reasons. Number one, I wanted this color and they don't currently have this color as part of the offering. So I knew I had to go custom, but the main reason why I really went custom is because I wanted a different sole. So currently on their website, the ready to wear options that they have come with a city sole. The city sole is the sole that TLB uses on the Artista line for their rubber sole, but I wanted something a bit more rugged. So I went with the anchor sole. As you can see, the anchor is TLB's version of day night. So I feel like for a pair of boots, personally, I think this looks better as it looks a bit more rugged than the city sole. The off the rack version retails for $458, which is an incredible price for a pair of boots of this quality. One thing about the Artista line of TRB Mallorca, as I stated in the first video that I made about TRB, to me, TRB is the best good year worth it shoe that you can get under $500. And these boots do not disappoint. Once again, they're not exactly the Galway. The Galway retail for $1,600. So I don't want you to think that you're getting Galway boots. You're not. Now you have to ask yourself, do you think that the Galway is worth three times what these shoes are? And to me, the answer is a resounding no. You know what I mean? So I'd rather get three of these boots in different colors than to get one pair of Galway for $1,600. If someone feels like they'd rather get one pair of Galway than three pair of TLB, I don't have any problem with that. But just me personally, I feel like both shoes are good year welted. Both shoes are really well made. Although when you're talking about a Galway, you're going to find better finishes and also better leather. But to me, it's not worth three times as much. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like this is a great buy. For someone like me that never really owned a pair of boots before, I'm so excited about these. Like when I received these the other day, I tried them on and I had them on for like an hour. Like I was just sitting on my computer. I had them on and I, I didn't even really want to take them off, man. That's how much I was really, really liking these shoes. The great thing about menswear right now is you can get a lot of nice stuff without breaking the bank, man. And that's the main reason why I started my channel because I feel like a lot of guys get intimidated when they're reading some magazines and see some of the prices on there for some of the nice stuff that they be showing. Like once again, this is not the Galway, but 
this is pretty damn close, man. And at under $500, there's really no reason for you not to walk around in some nice boots, man. This is, these are just really nice, man. And it's great that brands like TLB Mallorca and Spian McKay, which is a brand that I champion also, they're able to have stuff at a reasonable price, man. That way it's attainable for a lot of us, man. Because before, there are a lot of stuff that you see online or in a magazine, you can only look at them, you can't really afford them. But now, you're able to get some really nice stuff without breaking the bank, um, but it's still really quality, quality stuff, you know what I'm saying? Now, one thing about the custom option, you can also choose the kind of um, lining that you want. So I went with a red lining, as you can see here. The great thing about these boots is they're really versatile. So I won't be wearing these with a suit, but I'll be wearing these a lot with flannel trousers and sport coats, and also with denim and like a short collar cardigan or something like that, you know what I'm saying? As you can see, the Artista line comes with a really slim waist. Now it's not as slim as the waist of my Oxfords from the Artista line, because once again, these are a rubber sole and these are boots, so you don't want them to be as refined as a pair of Oxfords. But you can still see that there's a nice shape to the waist of the boots. And I couldn't be happier with these boots as my first pair of boots, man. I really, really like these. But I just got them in a couple days ago, but I knew that I had to make this video really, really quickly because I really want to wear these boots like right now. You know what I'm saying? As I was saying, these boots cost $458 as of the time of this video. And if you want to get them custom, they're going to cost you $526. And once again, with the custom program, you can choose exactly what kind of leather that you want. You can choose two materials, just like the one that I have, or you can just go with one. This would look really good in uh, some kind of gray leather if you just want to go with one material. And this would also look good if you just want to do all suede. That's another option that you have with these. Another great thing about the custom program is the turnaround is less than a month. It's about two to three weeks which of course when you're talking about custom, sometimes it can take two to three months or even longer depending on the brand. So, but that's the great thing, man. See, I'll be turning them around pretty fast. So, I mean, these boots are really, really nice, man. Can't believe you can get these boots under $500. This is an incredible value. Just look at them. So I'm going to include the link in the description, but let me know what you feel about these boots, man. I mean, I don't see how somebody can tell me that these boots are not crazy, man. <laughs> I'm not even gonna wait anymore. I've waited too long to get myself some nice boots to wait another day. So I'm so glad I'm making this video today so I can start wearing these boots tomorrow. <laughs> now I need another pair, man. What color should I get? I'm thinking about going something black though. I think a Utah grain leather would be really nice on these. I have a feeling that I'm going to be wearing boots a lot this winter. I don't know what took me so long to realize that I needed myself some boots, man. <laughs> I don't know what to call these, man, but um, what do you think about the tieway? <laughs> Once again, TRB refers to them as the 140, but we need a better name than that. So let me know in the comments how you feel about the 140 from the Artista line of CLB Mallorca and which one are you going to get? Are you going to get one of the six options that they are readily available on their website or are you going to get them custom? So hit the thumbs up if you like this video. Subscribe or everybody gonna think that you are a hater. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.